A case of monkeypox reported in Central Florida, the latest cases in Volusia County. There are now 29 cases in Central Florida. Orange County has the most with 22 of them. The virus spreads mostly from skin to skin contact. And a vaccine is available, but as Fox 35 Stephanie Buffamonte reports, some people are having to travel to get it. Because of the uncertainty of vaccines, both my partner and I traveled down to South Florida for a day just to get the vaccine from the Broward Health Department. Wesley Davis and his partner drove hours to get the monkeypox vaccine because he couldn't get an appointment in Orange County. He says people like himself who live in Orlando are concerned and frustrated. People are upset, people are frustrated, but more importantly, people are so scared. The monkeypox vaccine demand in Orange County is outpacing the supply. Right now, the Orange County Department of Health has no appointments available as they're booked. The department says they're working on securing more monkeypox vaccines. The problem? There's a national shortage. Representative Anna Escamani tells me she was on an hour long meeting today with the Department of Health where they discussed the need to get more doses. While the majority of people contracting monkeypox are men who have sex with men, anyone who comes in physical contact with someone who has symptoms can contract the disease. Healthcare workers are also at a high risk of exposure. There have been cases in other parts of the country where two young children and a pregnant woman got monkeypox. Right now, if we were to vaccinate every Orange County resident who engages in uh, sexual activity as men with men, we don't have enough dosages even for that population right now, let alone uh, other impacted groups, including young people and including those who are immunocompromised. And so we are in serious need of more dosages. Many in Central Florida hope more access to the vaccine come soon. People are frustrated and they just want answers and they want to be able to keep themselves safe and the loved ones that they have around them safe as well. In Orlando, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News.